going on youtube it's another monday so you know we got another video today we cooking up a little emotional guitar vibe artists like 2c raw wave no cap you know what i'm saying that type of vibe man hope y'all enjoy this video because i had a good time making this one you like it and your head get to bobbing go ahead and drop me a like man hit that sub button because once we hit 1,000 subscribers drum kit for y'all boys man hit that noti bell if you haven't as well so you know as soon as i upload these videos that's enough talking let's get into this cook up man all right, so we at 160 BPM here and we got the Ample Guitar M or Martin and we're on the default preset. And this is the first melody that we have here. That's smooth, man. So look, this is real simple. We are gonna break this thing down piece by piece. So the first thing we start off with is simply our root notes. So we got our four root notes here. Cool, right? Now to build on top of that, we're gonna shift click all of them and we're gonna move all of these notes up five spaces. So one, I mean, I'm sorry, seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is gonna sound good. That's basically the whole foundation of the melody right there. We got some good chords, so the rest of the notes that we're adding are just the taste. So from there, we're kind of just, for most of these, I'm just kind of finishing out the chord by ear, by whatever I kind of like. So I'm just move, literally just moving notes around, place them down, you know what I'm saying? So let's go, let's take it back over here. I want you to notice like what I'm really using are these half steps here for the top melody because that's going to add that tension and that that kind of that darkness with that emotional mix kind of because we're going to balance it with these other notes here that are leading into the next chord so you see i had the, the foundation here with the d sharp and the a sharp we went up to this c sharp here and then we played into this half step f sharp came back down to the d sharp which is leading into the C sharp for the next chord. See how I'm kind of going with this? And we're just kind of following that method and placing down these extra notes where they're kind of going to lead into the next chord really nicely. After we had our chords out and they were sounding good, we added some effects. So this is what this sounds like with the effects. Super saucy, super saucy. So we basically just have this effect rack on there and it's on this crystal choir preset. I had to tweak a couple of the settings to get it to sound how I wanted to. And I also turned down the mix in the uh, mixer here by down to 55%. And we also just have a simple EQ, just cutting out some of the lows here. So after we had those that all settled and we added this simple top melody uh, with the guitar here, very simple, literally just play this out on my mini keyboard going down the scale. So this is what that sounds like. That effect rack just adds so much character to it. All right, so next we're in the Scarby Rickenbacker bass here in Contact 7. And we just have this simple bass line following the root note of the melody. This is what it sounds like. So we also added an effect rack to the bass here and we have this fat chorus preset. And we also just have this EQ here cutting out some of that sub in our bass and then some of the highs in the bass as well. So this is what it sounds like with the effect. All right, so at this point, we have the foundation of the melody. We got our bass line. But now it's gonna be all about sound selection and just layering because we don't wanna do too much for the melody because we want somebody to be able to rap on it or sing on it still. So the next sound that we chose was this Forever uh, Synth Keys preset in Analog Lab 5. And we're just rebuilding out the chords from the guitar melody. We just kinda 
you know what I'm saying, line them all up here. So this is what this sounds like. So again, we're just following the chords from the guitar melody. And with the sound selection here, we're looking for kind of a soft sound that'll fill that space in the background of the guitar and not kind of take it over, you know? It's real simple. For the effects, we just have a Valhalla Vintage Verb here. Turn on the mix, a little pre-delay, turn on decay, and we have it on this ambience mode. Then we also have a EQ as well, just cutting out some of the lows. So this is what it sounds like with the effects. Next, we added this lazy art preset from Analog Lab 5. Again, same exact chords. We're just layering at this point, and this is what that sounds like. Very nice sound there. So we have a Valhalla Vintage Verb. It's the exact same reverb from the uh, other synth keys there. Then I added this pancake too, just to kind of move the sound, the sound along between your ears there. We also added a free chorus here, and then we just put a soothe too, just to cut out some of those harsh frequencies in the sound. All right, and the last melodic element that we added were these keys from Keyscape, LA Custom C7 Grand Piano. And we just played out this simple melody on uh, the MIDI keyboard here. So this is what it sounds like. Very simple. Now we really sauce this one up with the effects here. So first we added this portal on the stutter effects preset. And we just turned down the mix here on this knob. Then we threw a half time on top of there on the default preset. And then I put a pan man on there just to kind of move the sound along between your ears again. And we have an EQ cutting out the majority of the lows here because I really just want the high end. You'll see once you hear the effect how it sounds. But this is what it sounds like. So subtle, but so nice. So nice. Once we have all those elements together, we lay out our melody and this is what it sounds like. I can listen to that melody all day. And when it's like that, the drums come easy. So, you know, we got our simple stuff here. We got a simple crash, snare, clap, layer, and this little snap in there as well, like a dry snap, um, a rim shot, and our hi-hats here. So, very simple bounce here. This is nothing too crazy. So, I'll let y'all hear what all this sounds like. Here's our hi-hat. Very, very simple stuff, man. We want to make sure with our hi-hats, we're just leaving space. Didn't want to have it doing too much here. A simple two-step will work as well, but I kind of wanted to open it up a little bit more, so I kind of spaced out those hi-hats. From there, we added in this uh, additional little sound here just for some ambience. So this is what that sounds like. So we just got that on the root note um, and then we just move it down an octave for the little second half of the melody. And we also added in these open hats here. So this is what that sounds like. Smooth, 
smooth. And then from there, man, you know, we got the 808 and the kick. We did two 808 patterns here. They're not that different from each other. We just really moved a couple notes around. So here's our first 808 pattern. stuff man we just had that kick on a few of the notes in the 808 really emphasize certain points in the loop there um and as you can see we always got the velocities turned all the way up on the 808 and the kick because we want them things to smack man i want to show you all this too on the drums there's not a whole lot of mixing going on here i got the snare and mono with this little knob here to the right let's move the the snap over a little bit to the right here and turn it down um and then on my spins and my kick we just got them both in mono with an eq and now some of the lows and a soft clipper didn't even touch the soft clipper just put it on there same thing with the kick here just cutting out some of the lows and that's really it as far as the mixing on the drums go man so what you gotta do when you got good quality sounds which is why i'm getting that drum kit together for y'all at 1000 subscribers so if you haven't already go ahead and like and subscribe man hey all right so all together man this is what the beat sounded like That's it for this one, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you watched this far, appreciate you, man. You one of the real ones for real. Hey, like I said, man, hope you drop a like on the video. Sub. We need to hit one case. So I can get that drum kit to y'all boys, man. If you're caring about your drum sounds, hit that sub button. Hey, man, that's it for this one, man. I appreciate y'all boys. Y'all be easy.